Reverend Insanity Chapter 191 Retreating After Fighting Fang Yuan inspected his immortal aperture. His divine sense was roaming the huge space inside his immortal aperture. All around, he saw barren land. I have too few earth path Tao marks. This barren terrain has few resources. Most plants cannot be grown. To improve it, I will need to add earth path Tao marks. Other than that, all other methods do not solve the fundamental problem. Fang Yuan thought. The sovereign immortal aperture was too big. It surpassed common sense. Even if Fang Yuan's divine sense spread out completely, he would have to spend a lot of time. But when Fang Yuan inspected his immortal aperture with a focus and a target, his efficiency was greatly raised. Different divine senses were spreading towards different areas. Gradually, the resource points that Fang Yuan was managing were displayed in his mind. Western desert had sandy terrain. There was a huge pit with charred sand surrounding it. The temperature was high. Inside the pit, there were a huge number of eerie fire dragon pythons coiling around, procreating. This was the first pit. Normally, eerie fire dragon pythons lived in clusters of two to three. But here, Fang Yuan used the Northern Plains Dong Fang tribe's special method to raise them. He placed many eerie fire dragon pythons together, promoting the creation of more infant snakes. These eerie fire dragon pythons came from Dong Fang tribe's blessed land previously. He had obtained this rearing method from Dong Fang Chang Fan's soul. It was the original copy and had many fine details clearly stated in it. Because of this, the eerie fire dragon pythons were growing in numbers at a rapid rate. Several lie away from this pit, there were three other pits. The number of dragon pythons in each pit was not fewer than the first pit. It has been less than a month outside, but the time inside here passes at 60 times the rate. I have quadrupled the number of eerie fire dragon pythons already. Fang Yuan nodded. Sixty times the rate of time, it was terrifying. The eerie fire dragon pythons had been living in Hu Immortal Blessed Land for a long time, but there was little growth in them. The result was far inferior to what Fang Yuan was seeing now. This was because Hu Immortal Blessed Land was placed in the main world. The rate of time was much slower. The resources grew more slowly. The eerie fire dragon pythons were like this. So too were the dragonfish, regretful spiders, arrow bamboo forest, star fragment grass fields and others. They increased in scale to varying degrees. But in terms of quality, the arrow bamboo forest and star fragment grass were growing less well than in star form blessed land in terms of vitality. This was because the sovereign immortal aperture had fewer star path Tao marks than star form blessed land. When Gu immortals managed their immortal apertures, they had to inspect all aspects of the immortal aperture to prevent missing something. Especially when immortal apertures were small and all sorts of resources were placed closely together, they might negatively influence each other's growth. But Fang Yuan's situation was fine. The sovereign immortal aperture had huge space, all sorts of resources had their respective environments, there was little chance of a problem occurring. When treasure yellow heaven opens, I will sell these resources, the rewards will surely be promising. Fang Yuan concluded, feeling pleased. Treasure yellow heaven closing had a huge influence on him. He was trying to manage and construct resources points in the immortal aperture. But without Treasure Yellow Heaven, he could not buy much. Even though Lang Yasek's inventory was huge, they were mostly Gu Refinement Immortal Materials, they were not useful to Fang Yuan. Stopping the use of his divine sense, only one last part went towards Mini Northern Plains. This time, Mini Northern Plains was Fang Yuan's focus. Roar, roar, roar. In many northern plains, large numbers of snow monsters were roaming around. The further north he went, the colder the weather, there was even snow in the air. On the ground, there was a thin layer of frost. Fang Yuan observed carefully. The size of the snow had expanded since his last investigation. This was all due to the previous earthly calamity. 
Fang Yuan had undergone the first earthly calamity in the icy plain. It was powerful, but Fang Yuan also gained much from it. He obtained a huge number of ice and snow path Dao marks. Because of these Dao marks, many northern plains had snow falling from the sky. This environment suited the snow monsters more. Currently in many northern plains, there were countless ordinary snow monsters, large numbers of desolate beast snow monsters, and a small number of ancient snow monsters ruling them. Before transacting with Shadow Sect, Fang Yuan had planned to keep these snow monsters as a form of resource inside his immortal aperture. But after the transactions, Fang Yuan understood what Heaven's will was. He was determined to eliminate these snow monsters, because these snow monsters were filled to the brim with Heaven's will. Fang Yuan came with killing intent. He mobilized his divine sense. A strength path immortal zombie brought along a large number of immortal essence as goo worms flew around the body. Sword path killer moved triple layered sword wave. The goo worms were used one by one, immortal essence was expended. A moment later, a grand wave burst out. Rumble. The silvery sword wave charged out with countless ripples, giving off killing intent that was colder than ice. Ordinary snow monsters could not resist. They were engulfed by the sword wave and cut into pieces. The pieces were cut further into specks before being completely eliminated. Nothing remained eventually. But those desolate beast snow monsters could resist. But they only lasted a few breaths of time before being destroyed by the sword wave. Sword path had extremely strong offense. It was one of the five strongest paths for fighting in the current Gu Immortal world. Triple Layered Sword Wave was an outstanding killer move. The wave of attacks became stronger each consecutive time. When Fang Yuan was undergoing tribulation, he used this move to kill the ruined bats made from snow, barely surviving. After three sword waves, he killed thousands of ordinary snow monsters and six desolate beast snow monsters, it was quite a good result. The thousands of snow monsters did not expend much of the sword waves, but the six desolate beast snow monsters, each one used up a lot of energy, causing the three waves to expend. Roar Following a loud roar, a seventy feet snow monster rushed towards him with unbounded rage, Along with it, there were several desolate beast snow monsters and tenthen ordinary snow monsters. A huge snow monster group charged forth like an army, towards Fang Yuan with killing intent. Fang Yuan moved the immortal zombie body, retreating. He was currently controlling this strength path immortal zombie to fight using his immortal essence and goo worms. This strength path immortal zombie was obtained from Blazing Heaven Demoness. Its immortal aperture had been destroyed long ago. Immortal essence and goo worms could only be brought alongside the immortal zombie. It was very unsafe for fighting. Thus, to eliminate these snow monsters, Fang Yuan chose to stay at range to attack them. This was a shameless tactic. Every fight was basically at a new location. After another fight, he would retreat again. The snow monsters charged imposingly, but when they arrived, Fang Yuan had already escaped, nowhere to be seen. The snow monsters' rage could not be vented. They growled loudly, causing vibrations in the air. The ancient snow monsters growled, throwing snowballs around, as they flew like meteors, scattering. Man is the spirit of all living beings, with a difference in intelligence. Fang Yuan held the initiative. These snow monsters could only take a beating passively. After getting to a safe distance, the strength path immortal zombie that Fang Yuan was controlling stopped moving, stopping to rest. Even though his body was uninjured, Fang Yuan paid a price. It was his green grape immortal essence. Activating triple layered sword wave used a lot of immortal essence and his Lang Ye sect contribution points. Because the immortal goo that formed triple layered sword wave included not just the core immortal goo, wave sword, but also other, water path immortal goo. Fang Yuan had to borrow these water path immortal goo from Lang Ye Lan spirit. He had to spend a lot of sect contribution points. All in all, 
the cost of using triple-layered sword wave once was high. But now, Fang Yuan had a lot of resources to trade. He had enough profits to sustain the immortal essence cost. In terms of sect contribution points, because of the trip to Tai Q, he had obtained a huge number of them. In the short term, they were not an issue. After resting, the snow monster group had settled down, before Fang Yuan started his slaughter again. I have to kill all of these snow monsters before the second earthly calamity comes. Otherwise, the calamities would make use of this and work together, I would die in the second earthly calamity. Fang Yuan was aware of this. The calamities and tribulations of a Gu immortal become stronger and stronger each time. Fang Yuan's second earthly calamity was bound to be stronger than the first. If the snow monsters from the first earthly calamity remained, and coordinated with the second earthly calamity, Fang Yuan's chances of surviving would be slim. He would almost certainly get into a desperate situation. This was not the first time Fang Yuan had acted. More than ten days had passed since he returned to Lang Ya Blessed Land. Every day, Fang Yuan went to kill snow monsters. Snow monsters were dying on a large scale, their sizes were shrinking, but many were still left. Fang Yuan had to work harder. But if he killed many of them in one day, he would cause a huge commotion. Even though snow monsters had low intelligence, they had survival instincts. Other than growling to vent their anger, they could also communicate with one another and alert each other. After Fang Yuan attacked them multiple times, these snow monsters were alert already. They went under the protection of the ancient snow monsters, forming a tight defense. Fang Yuan could not attack easily. He withdrew the strength path immortal zombie and stopped killing snow monsters for the day. Placing his focus away from the immortal aperture, Fang Yuan stood up. He flew out of Cloud City. Soon, he came to Luo Po Valley. Every day, he had to cultivate his soul. Lord Fang Yuan. Elder Fang Yuan is here again? You are really hardworking when it comes to cultivating. This is very admirable. In Luo Po Valley, there were other Gu Immortals. These hairy man Gu Immortals were familiar with Fang Yuan because he had guided them in combat tactics. Fang Yuan entered the valley. They took the initiative to greet him. Fang Yuan also replied to them politely. Thanks to the spy, Sixth Hair, Fang Yuan could get along well with these hairy man Gu Immortals. Selecting a spot, after inspecting the area, Fang Yuan had his soul fly out, starting his cultivation. Pain was ingrained into his soul, causing it to tremble intensely. Fang Yuan gritted his teeth, he was unwavering. After a long while, a few hairy man Gu immortals who were watching him talked among themselves after retracting their gazes. A cultivation maniac. It is hard to think that he can stay in Luo Po Valley for two hours a day. This pain, I cannot even endure some minutes of it. Chapter 1092, Self Will Goo Fang Yuan's soul was roaming in Liu Po Valley. He did not move far, only around the vicinity of his body. Once in a while, there would be bewilderment fog drifting towards him. Fang Yuan's soul was bathed in the bewilderment fog. He was like a book soaked in water, slowly opening up. The more condensed my soul is, the harder it is to loosen. After cultivating here for so many days, my soul is more than ten times as condensed as before. This is an incredible improvement. However, compared to spectral soul demon venerable, this is truly insignificant. Fang Yuan assessed himself, thinking about the battle of Yi Tian Mountain once again. Spectral soul demon venerable was the founder of Soul Path, even though he died, his soul remained. He still had the highest soul path foundation in the world. Spectral soul's soul was condensed to a terrifying level. Ordinary souls were like illusory silhouettes. They could interfere with the mind at most. They could not affect the material world. But spectral soul was so condensed that he could resist the grand tribulation with his soul. The imposing appearance was stuck deeply in Fang Yuan's mind even though he lost his memories due to the pure dream reality seeker physique. This portion of his memories was not lost. 
Perhaps even if Spectral Soul came to Luo Po Valley, the bewilderment fog would have no effect on him. Fang Yuan thought as he sighed to himself, when can I have this level of cultivation myself? If Fang Yuan's soul had the foundation of Spectral Soul, then even if the immortal zombie body had a strong trap, it would be useless. Bewilderment fog gathered and scattered, soon, Luo Po winds started to blow. Fang Yuan's soul was bathed in the wind. Traces of wind cut his soul apart like steel threads. Pain that was greater than dying by a thousand cuts made Fang Yuan's soul tremble. But Fang Yuan gritted his teeth, enduring this wind. This wind was not very strong, it did not last very long either, Fang Yuan could endure it. But if he encountered strong winds, Fang Yuan would retreat wisely and keep his soul inside his body. With the protection of his body, Luo Po Win's might was greatly reduced. After this wind passed, Fang Yuan's soul shrunk by 30%. To play safe, he returned to his body. Guts Goo Guts Goo were shattered in Fang Yuan's immortal aperture, as they turned into a mysterious power that affected his soul. Soon, his soul became strong again. The injuries from his earlier cultivation vanished completely. Luo Po Valley and Dang Hun Mountain were both sacred lands for soul cultivation. With these two in his hands, Fang Yuan's soul path cultivation level rose rapidly. He was improving immensely. Like this, after the bewilderment fog and Luo Po wind, Fang Yuan's soul was tempered like steel. It became more refined and condensed. But he did not know when he could enter the immortal zombie body. Two hours later, Fang Yuan's soul started to feel agitated. He wisely stopped his cultivation. His soul returned to his body, and he left Luo Po Valley. Two hours was Fang Yuan's personal limit. He had learned it after cultivation multiple times. There were three aspects in soul cultivation. Everyone knew about strengthening the soul and refining the soul, but these were just two of them. There was a third aspect that was soul pacification. Strengthening the soul could make the soul grow. Refining the soul could make it more condensed and pure. And pacifying the soul was to allow rest and recovery. The three complemented one another. If one only focused on one aspect, they would lose out on a lot. It was not worth it. Among which, Guts Gu from Dang Hun Mountain were the best to strengthen the soul. Luo Po Wind and Bewilderment Fog were the best for soul refinement. And finally, the most effective way to pacify the soul was the pacifying soul soup in Bewitching Lake. Bewitching Lake was inside the door of life and death. In the legends, after Verdant Great Sun died, he had remained drunk by the riverside. The door of life and death is inside Shadow Sex Blessed Land, and Shadow Sex Blessed Land is at southern borders Yitian Mountain. It is currently engulfed by the giant dream realm, Otherwise, if I could obtain the door of life and death, I would be able to gather all three and cultivate my soul with the highest efficiency. Fang Yuan was only thinking about it. That giant dream realm was the greatest obstacle. Currently, he could not pass that obstacle no matter what. And most importantly, there was Heaven's Will. Fang Yuan's every action drew the attention of Heaven's Will. Even if he was going to act in the future, Fang Yuan would still be most wary of Heaven's will. As he flew, Fang Yuan did not return to his Cloud City first. He rushed to the Twelfth Cloud City. Soon, he saw the hairy man Gu Immortal Twelfth Hair. Elder Fang Yuan, you are here. This is the self will Gu that you wanted me to refine. Inspect them. Twelfth Hair said in a warm tone. Fang Yuan waved his hand keeping all of the self will goo, saying, No need for inspection. Twelfth elder, I trust you. Twelfth hair laughed, he was deeply moved. Before Fang Yuan left, he held his hand as he said with much gratitude, I have to thank you for giving me this chance to refine self will goo. Otherwise, when treasure yellow heaven opens, I would not have the capital to buy desolate beasts. We are kindred spirits, this is a win-win situation, I hope we can continue to work together." Fang Yuan smiled as he replied. 
of course, Twelfth Hare replied candidly. After the transaction, Fang Yuan returned to his cloud city. Self will goo. In the room, Fang Yuan mumbled as he held a rank five mortal goo. This goo worm looked like a scorpion, it was tiny. It had a unique appearance, it looked like folded paper. In Fang Yuan's hand, it was very light. When it moved its limbs, there was a light sound, it moved very slowly around Fang Yuan's palm. Self Will Goo's recipe came from Shadow Sect. Fang Yuan was a complete otherworldly demon now, he was unaffected by Heaven's will. But other Goo Immortals or Goo Masters were not like him. How could they resist Heaven's will and prevent it from subconsciously affecting them? Shadow Sect gave him a solution, that was Self Will Goo. This was a wisdom path goo worm. It could produce a special type of will self will. Using self will goo to cleanse oneself, it could block and prevent the influence of heaven's will. This was an important part of shadow sex research after a long period of experimentation to resist heaven's will. Fang Yuan obtained self will goo's recipe in the transactions with sixth hair. He started refining it himself. But the result was not good. He was not a refinement path expert, he could not achieve much on his own. In particular, his time and effort were very precious, he could not waste time on refining goo. Earlier, he refined change form immortal goo because it was too significant to him. But although self will goo was only immortal goo, Fang Yuan had a great need for it. Thus, after brief hesitation, he gradually felt that he should expose the recipe of self will goo and give it to the hairy man goo immortals from Lang Ya sect to get them to help Fang Yuan refine it. The price of asking Lang Ya land spirit to help was too high and unnecessary. Among the hairy man goo immortals in Lang Ya sect, other than sixth hair, the rest were all willing to work for Fang Yuan. Because Fang Yuan was already close to them, or even had a good relationship. Also, Langya's sect focused a lot on sect contribution points. After the trip to Tai Kiu, Fang Yuan had accumulated a lot of sect contribution points. The other hairy man Gu immortals needed them. Twelfth hair was not the only one of them. Fang Yuan also asked for help from other hairy man Gu immortals. He had set the Gu refinement fees to a very low price. It was not hard for Fang Yuan to do this. The hairy man goo immortals were quite guileless, and most importantly, they were skilled in goo refinement while having some unwillingness to fight. They were willing to accept Fang Yuan's missions. This was not the first batch of self will goo that Fang Yuan obtained. After placing the self will goo into his immortal aperture, Fang Yuan inspected the other goo worms. He had shown a trusting and casual attitude with twelfth hair, but he was a vigilant person. After receiving the goods, he inspected them carefully. After all, Lang Ya sect had spies like Sixth Hair. Fang Yuan did not know that Sixth Hair was the final spy remaining, but he was cautious. He was wary of Sixth Hair as well as other potential spies. The inspection took some time, but compared to refining these mortal goo himself, it was insignificant. After inspecting that there were no issues, Fang Yuan nodded, showing a look of admiration. These are refined by hairy man goo immortals after all. The quality is really superb. Fang Yuan kept the self will goo in his immortal aperture. Or rather, he sent them into many northern plains. He activated them one by one, until these mortal self will goo were expended. A large amount of self will swept through several battlefields, cleansing all of the heavens will inside. Other than those inside the snow monsters, the battlefield had none of heaven's will left. These self will goo are the best weapon against heaven's will, but they are very flawed. They are only rank 5 and are one-time consumable goo. They are gone after I use them. Fang Yuan sighed. He held deep suspicion towards this. This self will goo recipe has to be an incomplete version. Even though Shadow Sect gave it to me, they surely have a better recipe. But in those transactions, I requested for too many things. This is the limit. I could not obtain a better recipe. Like this, 
Fang Yuan got rid of the snow monsters in his immortal aperture and used self-will to get rid of the heaven's will. At the same time, he used Dang Hun Mountain and Luo Po Valley to cultivate Soul Path. His Soul Path foundation was accumulating rapidly. Other than this, he even squeezed out some time to coach the hairy man Gu Immortals in fighting. Secretly, he got familiar with his immortal Gu and practiced his killer moves. Treasure Yellow Heaven's closure was also a huge impact on Fang Yun. The construction of his immortal aperture was forced to stop, even though Fang Yuan had the capital and plans. Days passed by. While Fang Yuan anticipated the opening of Treasure Yellow Heaven, the second earthly calamity gradually got closer. Lang Yasek's plan towards Tai Kyu had never stopped. From time to time, Hairy Man Gu Immortals received sect missions and used the transportation formation to head to Tai Kyu. These Hairy Man Gu Immortals' first mission over there was to change the environment and stabilize the transportation Gu formation. What made Fang Yuan feel strange was, these Hairy Man Gu Immortals did not face any difficulties, it was smooth sailing. Heaven's will did not seem to be targeting them. Chapter 193 Rejection Langya Blessed Land, Cloud Cover Continent In the first cloud city, Langya Land Spirit was attending to Fang Yuan. Here, Fang Yuan, have some tea. This is the famous Fire Rainbow Tea, Langya Land Spirit said with a warm expression. Fang Yuan received the cup. He saw that this cup of tea was glowing with a red light. Looking closely, there seemed to be a rainbow inside, swimming around like a fish, moving up and down in a jolly manner. Fang Yuan had five hundred years of experience, he had a trove of knowledge. Ordinary tea needed to be drunken slowly and appreciated. But this tea was different, one had to gulp it in one mouthful. Most importantly, it was the rainbow inside the tea. After drinking it, one could taste the true fire rainbow tea. Fang Yuan held the cup as he looked at the tea, he did not drink it. His current body was very outstanding. At once, countless thoughts churned in his mind. He was pondering deeply into an idea. The current Lang Yalan spirit liked drinking fire rainbow tea. The previous Lang Yalan spirit drank cloud smoke tea instead. The two types of tea showed the difference in the personalities of both Lang Yalan spirits. The main ingredient of the cloud smoke tea was float ball tea grass. This was planted in Tai by Yun Sheng's blessed land as his main resource. This float ball tea grass floated in the sky. It was not ordinary. Float ball tea grass was quite high end because it grew in the sky. Mortals could not pick it. But in northern plains, there was a type of tea flower that grew from the ground and was deeply liked. It was the milk tea flower. This type of flower grew in the plains of northern plains, there were a huge number of them. In some places with lots of aquatic plants, they could be seen everywhere in large numbers. The flower of the milk tea flower was in the shape of a cup. Every few days, nectar would fill to the brim of the cup. The nectar was sweet and delicious, it attracted countless bees and butterflies, it used them to spread the pollen of the milk tea flower. Of course, people could drink it too. Almost all Gu masters living in northern plains, or even mortals, had tasted this natural beverage. Actually, tea and alcohol were very popular drinks in northern plains, as well as the other four regions. In southern border, there were blue sea cloud tea bricks for sale. This tea brick was not produced in southern border, but Eastern Sea instead. Yi Clan, one of the super forces of Southern Border, had a close relationship with Eastern Sea. Every year, they imported a huge number of Blue Sea Cloud tea bricks and sold them for great profits. In Central Continent, there were even more types of tea, like Spirit Affinity House's King Pu Tea, Myriad Dragon Docks Dragon Shadow Tea, they were very famous. Some tea were specialties of Gu Immortals, only that specific Gu Immortal could make it. For example, Fairy Lai Shan's Snow Oil Tea or Fang Ju Ji's Jade Sea Tide Tea. Lang Ya Lan's spirit saw that Fang Yuan was not drinking it. He coughed and urged, 
Elder Fang Yuan, quickly drink it. You might not know, but this is the best way to drink this fire rainbow tea. Fang Yuan waved his hand. I have heard about fire rainbow tea long ago, but when I held this cup of tea, I suddenly thought of many things and was lost in my thoughts. Lang Yalan spirit, then what was Elder Fang Yuan thinking of? Is there an issue with Lang Ya sect developing in Tai Q? No, not this. Fang Yuan smiled. He freely picked out something in his mind and used it as an excuse. Lang Ya Lan spirit showed a look of disappointment. He replied, You are the owner of Spring Autumn Cicada. You came from the future and are very knowledgeable. You have experienced many things and know a lot about tea. But do you know? Be it tea or wine, they have both been spread far and wide due to food path. Oh, is that so? Fang Yuan was deeply interested. Or more accurately speaking, he was interested in food path. He was managing his immortal aperture now. The main goal was to have multiple resources that could satisfy the feeding requirements of his immortal goo. But if he had methods of food path, it would be easier for him to feed his immortal goo. Unfortunately, food path was very mysterious. There was only a short period in history when it flourished. Afterwards, it spread much less. It was rarer than wisdom path inheritances. It was on the brink of extinction. Regarding food path, Fang Yuan had learned some secrets during the Battle of Yitian Mountain through spectral soul demon Venerable's memories. The creator of food path was not a human goo immortal, but a beastman goo immortal. This was likely the reason why Food Path was in its current state. But to Fang Yuan, it did not matter who made this path, as long as it has use to him. Most human Gu immortals had a sense of racial pride and superiority, but Fang Yuan did not. If being a hairy man could help him reach the goal of eternal life, he would discard his human identity immediately without hesitation and become a hairy man. After realizing that Lang Ya Lan spirit had some understanding towards food path, Fang Yuan continued to ask. Lang Ya Lan spirit revealed, the creation of any type of tea or wine is actually an incomplete goo recipe. If it is completed, a unique tea goo or wine goo would be refined. There are already many types of wine goo or tea goo, like the famous liquor worm and big smoke tea goo. Liquor worm was a familiar one. Fang Yuan had used it after rebirth to grow rapidly. Big Smoke Tea Goo was a type of goo worm that could make a goo master addicted and become decadent. It was heavily suppressed by the people in power. It was a type of drug in this world. It is a pity that Food Path is facing extinction before it even became widespread. Right now, when many goo immortals want to test their refinement path attainment, they do not need to join the Central Continent Refinement Path Convention. They can compete by making a cup of tea each, tasting and determining who is superior. Lang Ya Land Spirit's answer disappointed Fang Yuan slightly. The Land Spirit did not know much. The contents were mostly about refinement path. Spectral Soul's main body definitely knows a lot of food path methods. After all, he had inherited a food path true inheritance in his life. Unfortunately, he is trapped in the giant dream realm now, and is being weakened continuously. It is too hard for me to get anything from him. This thought flashed across Fang Yuan's mind. Lang Ya Lan spirit and Fang Yuan spoke for a while. He saw that Fang Yuan could not stop talking about tea. He got anxious and said openly, Fang Yuan, I will speak frankly. I invited you for tea because I have a mission for you. Here it comes. Fang Yuan thought. He looked at the land spirit. Please speak. The land spirit was straightforward. Fang Yuan had guessed his intentions long ago. As expected, Lang Ya land spirit said at the next moment, You know about my plan to develop in Tai Q. You suggested it yourself, after all. There is also the transportation goo formation. You placed it yourself. Because of your actions, recently, our Gu immortals could enter Tai Kiyu smoothly and modify the environment to expand our base. But now, we have a problem. Fang Yuan nodded. 
First Supreme Elder is talking about the falling star hound. That's right. This damned ancient desolate beast injured several goo immortals of our sect. I have already placed a mission to exterminate it, but everyone who took the mission returned in failure. I know that the only person who can beat this falling star hound is you, Fang Yuan. But why did you not take that mission? Lang Yalan's spirit asked directly. Fang Yuan smiled bitterly. I am very busy recently. He had his difficulties to deal with. More than a month had passed since the last earthly calamity. The next earthly calamity was coming. Fang Yuan was preparing for this earthly calamity now. But Fang Yuan was not going to tell Lang Yalan's spirit about the earthly calamity. In fact, he was keeping the sovereign immortal aperture as a secret from Lang Yalan's spirit. As long as he did not cause harm to Lang Ya blessed land, it was not going against the alliance agreement of Lang Ya sect. This secret was Fang Yuan's trump card, he was going to keep it hidden. Of course, Shadow Sect knew all about it. But Fang Yuan knew that Shadow Sect's plan was to take back sovereign immortal fetus Gu. In this case, they were not going to expose the existence of the sovereign immortal aperture because that was just causing more problems for themselves in the future, right? From Lang Ya Lan Spirit's perspective, it was very fortunate that Fang Yuan could revive and become a living person. As for the revival method, Fang Yuan had lots of excuses and explanations. He knew many ways for immortal zombies to revive after all. Fang Yuan's difficulties could not be said. Lang Ya Land Spirit nodded. You are very busy indeed. He was a land spirit. He knew everything happening inside Lang Ya Blessed Land. Lang Ya Land Spirit said, You cultivate really hard. But completing the mission also helps you in your cultivation. Don't forget about dog shit luck immortal goo. To feed it, you need to find six types of desolate hounds and use their feces to feed this luck path goo worm. In the past, when my previous self fed dog shit luck, he made use of Treasure Yellow Heaven, purchasing from there. But now, Treasure Yellow Heaven is closed, even after it reopens, I would suggest you rear some desolate hounds in your immortal aperture. You also know the benefit of doing this. Lord's words are truly enlightening. Fang Yuan immediately nodded. Dog shit luck was very important to him. Against heaven's will, luck path could be used. Fate and luck. Fate was predetermined, it could not be changed. But luck was ever-changing, it could be made of use. This precious information was obtained from the transactions between Fang Yuan and Shadow Sect. Fang Yuan's exploration was known by Heaven's will. It caused a beast tide and tried to eliminate him. But at the crucial moment, Fang Yuan found an immemorial desolate corpse and used it to set up the formation. Thinking about it, Fang Yuan felt that this was not a coincidence. It was likely thanks to dog shit luck. This immortal goo had no use towards offense or defense, but its passive help was huge. Giant sun immortal venerable, self luck, all living beings luck, heaven and earth luck. Dog shit luck is among the key parts of the self luck true inheritance. I am in possession of it. All living beings luck was hidden in imperial court blessed land, connect luck, calamity beckoning, and fortune rivaling heaven were from there. What a pity. Fang Yuan had a scary guess recently. Imperial Court Blessed Land was destroyed because of him. Back then, he was influenced by Mo Yao's fake will. But was he unaffected by Heaven's will? Did Heaven's will use him as a tool to destroy Giant Sun Immortal Venerable's all living beings' luck true inheritance? From Heaven's will's perspective, it had to take away surpluses while replenishing deficits. Fate was the best method that Heaven's will had. After Fate Goo was broken by Red Lotus Demon Venerable, the power of Luck Path burst out, creating Giant Sun Immortal Venerable. Lang Ya Lan Spirit sat up, muttering, Elder Fang Yuan, if you can take this mission and complete it, regardless of whether you capture or kill the Falling Star Hound, you will receive 800 sect contribution points. 800, Fang Yuan's eyes flashed. But next, he thought about it and answered, I'll have to say no. 
Chapter 1094 In this world, what is most important is myself. Fang Yuan flew in the sky. Before leaving, he looked back at the cloud city behind him. He showed a bitter expression. He sighed deeply before flying away. Last time, he accepted Lang Yalan Spirit's mission to explore Tai Kiyu. The land spirit was happy, and the meeting ended well. But now, Fang Yuan rejected him. He did not accept the mission to take down the falling star hound. The meeting ended poorly. In Cloud City, Lang Yalan Spirit sat gritting his teeth. He held in his anger, he was holding the cup, but before he drank the tea, he smashed it towards the ground. Fang Yuan, this fellow, Lang Yalan Spirit clenched his fists, grinding his teeth feeling very unhappy. However, he could see Fang Yuan's expression before leaving. The anger in him subsided a little. Fang Yuan, oh Fang Yuan, you might be really busy, cultivating so intensely and having your own plans. But this matter affects the development of Lang Ya sect. You are a member of the sect. At the crucial moment, how can you not sacrifice yourself and defend the interest of the sect? You are an outsider after all. You are not a hairy man, Gu Immortal. Lang Yalan spirit thought of this and squinted. There was a cold glint in his eyes. In his position, Lang Yalan spirit could not force Fang Yuan to accept the mission if he did not want to. He created Lang Ya sect. All of the members were under an alliance agreement. But there were no rules that would allow him to force members to do missions that they were unwilling to do. Of course, when Lang Ya sect was in a life and death crisis, there were rules that would be enforced. But currently, Lang Ya sect was developing Tai Kiyu. It had nothing to do with fatal danger. If Fang Yuan was unwilling, there was nothing Lang Ya Lan spirit could do. Lang Ya Lan spirit could not sit. He stood up and paced around the room. His arms were behind his back. He lowered his head and pondered. He felt troubled and frustrated. His frown was growing deeper. Fang Yuan is unwilling to do it. What can I do about the falling star hound? Thinking about it hard, there were no good solutions. Lang Ya Lan spirit himself could not leave Lang Ya blessed land. There was another way. That was the ancient battle formation heavenly giant Solar. But Lang Ya Lan spirit was in control of the most crucial immortal goo that constituted the formation. Now that refinement cauldron, an immortal goo house, was incomplete. This was one of the strongest remaining methods to protect Lang Ya blessed land. Lang Ya land spirit did not want to lend heavenly giant Solar over this situation. What if an unexpected mishap happened? Lang Ya land spirit had a clear view of the circumstances. Sigh, do I really need to do what Fang Yuan suggested? I might as well use this falling star hound as a grindstone and develop the fighting abilities of these hairy man goo immortals, Lang Ya Lan spirit sighed. Fang Yuan flew in the air, his clothing fluttered in the wind. Raging winds brushed past his face, the sound of the wind was clear and loud. He was cold and impassive on the inside. His bitter smile and sigh earlier were just an act. Fang Yuan knew. Inside Lang Ya Blessed Land, Lang Ya Land Spirit knew almost everything. He had a huge investigative range. Otherwise, he would not be able to collect so many lifespan goo. Because Lang Ya Blessed Land had existed since long ago, it had a deep foundation and an uncountable number of Tao marks. This allowed Lang Ya Land Spirit's abilities to be very developed in this blessed land. Other land spirits could not compare to him. My current plan is to rely on Lang Ya Sect to cultivate. I am the chess player, and Lang Ya Sect are my chess pieces. If I accept that mission, wouldn't I become the pawn myself, risking my life for Lang Ya Sect? HMPH, Heaven's Will has its attention on Tai Kyu, it is very dangerous there. I suspect that Heaven's Will has already set a trap, but because it has not found me, and because of the immemorial corpse, it is biding its time. Fang Yuan was vigilant. In this situation, he was not going to go to Tai Q. He wanted to cultivate Transformation Path. He had to refine Transformation Path Immortal Goo and kill desolate beasts to get immortal materials. But he did not need to do these himself. 
Lang Yi sect was trying to develop in Tai Kyu. It would do all these. Fang Yuan only needed to use his sect contribution points and stay behind to cultivate. Not mentioning the danger and the possibility of a trap from heaven's will. Even if there were no such thing, Fang Yuan was not going to delay his own cultivation speed. In this world, what is most important is myself. Fang Yuan had a firm attitude. He was mentally prepared for this unpleasant meeting already. I will definitely not waste my time for Lang Ya's sect, but I need to handle my relationship with Lang Ya Lan's spirit well. If such arguments happen often, my relationship with Lang Ya Lan's spirit will worsen. At some point, Lang Ya Lan's spirit might be unable to control himself. He might chase me out of the sect or even kill me. For the current period of time, I still need Lang Ya's sex power. At least, during this second earthly calamity, I need to borrow those water path immortal goo. Fang Yuan calmly analyzed his situation. He had once been in conflict with the previous Lang Ya Lan spirit and their relationship became icy cold. That was a mistake. Fang Yuan alerted himself not to make the same mistake again. Sometimes, if the situation permits, I can and have to try and help out. I am purely making use of Lang Yasek to bring convenience for my cultivation. Only my own strength and cultivation level are dependable. Heaven's will could affect many things, but the extent of its influence was limited. Heaven's will was not a fake will, capable of directly colliding with the thoughts in one's mind to distort the results of their thinking. Heaven's will could not compare to fake will in that regard. After hearing about Heaven's will from Shadow Sect, Fang Yuan learned that Heaven's will was, in essence, simply a type of will. Heaven's will could, at most, make very subtle influences. Thus, Heaven's will used Fang Yuan as the tool to deal with Shadow Sect and Spectral Soul. It had not exposed itself, it created a huge scheme and progressed slowly. Only towards the end did it bear its fangs. But at the Battle of Yichan Mountain, Fang Yuan, based on his nature as half an otherworldly demon, broke free of Heaven's will's planning and resulted in the current outcome. Thus, to deal with Heaven's will, the best method was to raise one's cultivation level and strength themselves. For example, when Kai Zai chased after Fang Yuan, it was because Fang Yuan was a rank 6 Gu Immortal, he was weaker. If Fang Yuan was rank 8, Kai Zai would not foolishly pursue him. Similarly, against the Cloud Beasts, if Fang Yuan had the strength, he could kill them easily. It was because he was weak that he had to escape and run away. Thus, even if earthly calamities and heavenly tribulations are the best timing for heaven's will to get rid of me, I must face them without any fear. Every time I pass the calamities and tribulations, I would be one step closer to breaking free from heaven's will's restrictions. I will grow stronger and stronger until I can face it head on. When I become a demon venerable, when I am invincible in this world, what can heaven's will do to me? Fang Yuan was aware of this, he was prepared for it. Returning to his cloud city, he was informed that a hairy man envoy had visited him. Fang Yuan met with this hairy man envoy. He was a rank 5 peak stage Gu Master. Lord, this is something my city lord had ordered me to bring to you. The hairy man Gu Master said respectfully. Saying this, he held up a wooden box with both hands. Fang Yuan received it, but did not open the box. He took a look at this hairy man envoy. With just one glance, the hairy man Gu Master felt his heart turning cold. It was as if his entire body was naked. All of his hair was shaved away. All of his secrets were exposed. From today onwards, you will stay here. I will guide you in the cultivation of enslavement path. Fang Yuan said slowly. Thank you, Lord Immortal, for your guidance. The hairy man Gu Master quickly knelt on the floor. His body was trembling. You can go now. Fang Yuan had no interest in this rank 5 peak stage Gu Master. After sending him away, Fang Yuan went to his room and cultivated. He opened the wooden box. There was an immortal Gu inside. It was the rank 6 beast enslavement immortal Gu. 
As it turned out, a few days ago, Fang Yuan felt that the relationship was close enough and the time was ripe. He made a suggestion to Twelfth Hair, wanting to borrow his beast enslavement immortal goo. He was willing to pay for it using sect contribution points. Even though Twelfth Hair agreed, he did not accept the sect contribution points. He had another request. Not long ago, he had taken in a bloodline descendant from the continents below. Twelfth Hare had an intimate relationship with the grandmother of this descendant, and because he had good aptitude, Twelfth Hare wanted to nurture him. Because this descendant cultivated enslavement path, Twelfth Hare wanted Fang Yuan to guide him. Fang Yuan had no reason to reject it. In fact, this was better for him. After all, he had been using a lot of sect contribution points recently, cutting costs was good for him. Inside the immortal aperture, the snow and ice had stopped increasing in area. This meant the earthly calamity's ice and snow path Dao marks had fully displayed their influence. They had finished modifying the immortal aperture. Fang Yuan controlled the immortal zombie and carefully got close to a desolate beast snow monster. Inside the immortal aperture, because time flowed differently, since his last slaughter, a long time had passed already. The snow monsters had relaxed, thus, Fang Yuan could find a lone snow monster roaming outside. Beast Enslavement Immortal Gu At Fang Yuan's will, he injected green grape immortal essence into this immortal goo. The desolate beast snow monster's body shook, it was as if it had been hit by an invisible force. But soon, it growled. It discovered the hidden strength path immortal zombie and attacked it. Failure, huh, retreat. Fang Yuan immediately left. Normally speaking, with his current soul foundation, it was nearly certain that he could suppress this desolate beast snow monster. But the reality was different. As Shadow Sect had said, these life forms filled with heavens will cannot be controlled or enslaved by me. Keeping them is a major threat. Fang Yuan sighed. Even though he knew this from Shadow Sex information, he was not going to be certain until he tested it for himself. If I could enslave them, I could control the desolate beast snow monsters to resist other tribulations or sell them in Treasure Yellow Heaven. Those are good options. But now, I can only kill them. Wait! Maybe I can use Self Will Goo to get rid of the Heaven's Will before using Beast Enslavement Immortal Goo? Fang Yuan had an idea. Chapter 1395 Ample Preparation An hour later. The desolate beast snow monster only had its head left after Fang Yuan's attacks. Roar! Even with just its head left, the snow monster's fierceness did not drop. It growled at Fang Yuan, spitting out icy wind. Snow monsters were different from ordinary desolate beasts. They were formed from snow and ice. They were like cloud beasts, blood beasts, or mud monsters. Fang Yuan controlled the strength path immortal zombie. He snorted as he stood in front of the snow monster's head. His hand was placed on top of the snow monster's head. At once, a thin layer of ice covered the strength path immortal zombie's hand. Fang Yuan ignored it, he activated a huge amount of self will goo. Self will surge like a tidal wave, flowing into the snow monster's head. The snow monster's head was full of heaven's will. Fang Yuan's self will entered and fought with heaven's will. It was like the clash of fire and water. They were irreconcilably opposed to one another. There was little heaven's will, but the self will was unceasing. In a while, the heavens were lost and was completely wiped out by the self-will. Bam! At the crucial moment, the snow monster's head exploded. A large amount of snow and ice scattered everywhere. The strength path immortal zombie Fang Yuan was controlling immediately was buried in snow. However, the explosion before dying had no destructive power. Soon, Fang Yuan manipulated the strength path immortal zombie to come out of the snow unscathed. But his expression was quite dark. Even if I use self-will and get rid of heaven's will, the result would be that the snow monster self-detonates. It cannot be subdued. But even if I could subdue it, 
I spent hundreds of self will go to cleanse just one snow monster's head, the cost is too high. Self will go was only a mortal goo, but it was rank 5. Furthermore, the self will go was not refined by Fang Yuan. He had asked the hairy man goo immortals to refine by paying contribution points. Because of this, the cost was higher to Fang Yuan. And most crucially, it costed his time. Fang Yuan had to injure a desolate beast snow monster, forcing it to be unable to move or resist him, before he could flood it with self-will and get rid of the heaven's will. One desolate beast snow monster might not take long, but Fang Yuan had so many snow monsters in many northern plains. With a greater number, the time needed would increase. His second earthly calamity was coming. Fang Yuan could not do this. Actually, even if I enslave the desolate beast snow monsters and sell them, it is dangerous. Back then, one of the first split souls of Shadow Sect, the goo immortal named Green, had researched the life and death immortal aperture in Earth Trench's super goo formation. A huge explosion occurred during his research. Countless immortal materials were infested with Heaven's will. Green avoided them like the plague. Because of that, he threw these immortal materials away. This firm attitude of his shows a huge problem. If I truly sell these snow monsters filled with Heaven's will, there might be horrible series of consequences. After his attempt failed, Fang Yuan could only continue his previous plan to kill these snow monsters. He had to kill these snow monsters completely before the second earthly calamity. He even had to cleanse all of the heavens will hear. Not a trace could be left. Ordinary snow monsters were cannon fodder. Fang Yuan could easily kill them. It was not a problem. But desolate beast snow monsters were harder to deal with. He had to spend some time. As for ancient snow monsters, they were even more troublesome. Fang Yuan started to miss Flying Sword Immortal Goo. With Flying Sword Immortal Goo as the core, the Immortal Killer move Sword Marks targeting death was extremely effectively in dealing with ancient snow monsters. Triple Layered Sword Wave was an attack with wide range, it was too wasteful to use against a single ancient snow monster and using triple-layered sword wave had a huge cost. Thankfully, Fang Yuan regained his strength path Immortal Goo. He could use the killer move Myriad Self once again. Strength Path had few requirements for Primeval Essence and Immortal Essence. Myriad Self first style. Giant Hand required much less Immortal Essence to activate than triple-layered sword wave. In the following period of time, Fang Yuan used his strength path giant hands to eliminate these ancient snow monsters and desolate beast snow monsters. He first used beast enslavement immortal goo to try and enslave a snow monster. After failing, the snow monster would be angered and fall into a frenzied state, pursing Fang Yuan endlessly. Fang Yuan immediately retreated, luring this snow monster away before using Strength Path Giant Hands to kill them. This way, the other snow monsters would not be alerted. Earlier, when Fang Yuan attacked, the snow monsters would gather into groups, but now was different, the efficiency was higher. After enslavement path methods failed, the target would feel great hatred towards the Goo Master. Fang Yuan made full use of this. Earlier, Fang Yuan had tried other methods, but mortal enslavement path methods were too weak, and some wisdom path methods were useless due to heaven's will. Thus, the beast enslavement immortal goo that Fang Yuan borrowed was not useless after all. Days passed, less than 30% of the snow monsters were left, but there was less than 10 days until the second earthly calamity. Fang Yuan manipulated the strength path immortal zombie coming to mini southern border in the Immortal Aperture. At a particular location, Fang Yuan's original Immortal Zombie body was placed. Even though I have my original Immortal Zombie body, I can only look at it, I cannot use it. Fang Yuan sighed, mobilizing self will Gu as he placed his formation. After some time, a Gu formation using hundreds of self will Gu as the core was created. This Gu formation was mainly for sealing. 
Fang Yuan obtained the method of setting up this formation from Shadow Sect, using a large number of self will goo to seal Heaven's will. The super goo formations that Shadow Sect had in all five regions used this method. After inspecting it and confirming there were no problems, Fang Yuan let out a sigh. Fang Yuan's immortal zombie body was at the center of the goo formation. The goo formation had completely sealed the Spring Autumn Cicada inside. Spring Autumn Cicada had originally been sealed by one of Heavenly Court's goo immortals, Wai Ling Yang. Ying Wu Zai was unable to activate Spring Autumn Cicada and start again. Thus, he was trapped in Central Continent and could only trade with Fang Yuan. During the transactions, Ying Wu Zai returned Fang Yuan's immortal zombie body as well as Spring Autumn Cicada. After obtaining it, Fang Yuan realized that Spring Autumn Cicada was still sealed, it could not even consume the water of the River of Time. It was weakening, on the verge of dying. Fang Yuan had tried many methods, but this seal was very powerful. He could not even obtain any information about it. Without other options, he could only give up on this. Not long ago, the method of the Rank 8 Restriction Path Gu Immortal, Wai Ling Yang, seemed to have worn out. Spring Autumn Cicada's seal was lifted. Fang Yuan knew that Heaven's Will was hidden inside it. Only Refinement Path methods could remove it. Fang Yuan did not dare to place this immortal zombie body outside. Storing it inside his own immortal aperture was safest. But Fang Yuan was afraid that during the second earthly calamity, the heavens will inside spring autumn cicada would coordinate with the calamity. Thus, he set up this goo formation, sealing heaven's will and preventing this threat from occurring. Three more days passed. The snow monsters were completely eliminated from Fang Yuan's immortal aperture. Next, he used self-will to cleanse all of the heaven's will. For this, Fang Yuan paid a huge price. Even though Giant Hand had a low cost, using it so many times meant his consumption was still very high. Right now, Fang Yuan did not have much Immortal Essence or Immortal Essence Stones, because Treasure Yellow Heaven closed. Even though Fang Yuan had a lot of resources, he could not sell them. His Lang Guest Sect contribution points were also dwindling. Even though Fang Yuan could earn more from teaching the hairy man Gu Immortals combat techniques, Lang Ya Lan Spirit was making his own plans. He reduced the rewards of these missions while raising the reward of the Falling Star Hound mission. Treasure Yellow Heaven, Treasure Yellow Heaven, when are you going to open? Fang Yuan waited for the opening of Treasure Yellow Heaven as he prepared for his second tribulation. There were five days until his second earthly calamity, Fang Yuan cleansed all of the heavens will inside, before going to Dang Hun Mountain. Using Nereid Self and other methods, he completely altered the appearance of Dang Hun Mountain. Next, using Pulling Mountain Immortal Goo, he moved Dang Hun Mountain into his sovereign immortal aperture. Earlier, Fang Yuan did not have landscape as before, he did not dare to do this but now his worry was lessened greatly. Such a commotion caused Lang Yalan's spirit to show up. He asked nervously, Elder Fang Yuan, what are you doing? He was worried, because Dang Hun Mountain belonged to Fang Yuan. It was not like Luo Po Valley. If Fang Yuan wanted to bring it away, he could not stop him. Fang Yuan had a glib tongue. He gave an excuse of his that was prepared long ago saying he was going to leave Lang Ya blessed land for some time. Lang Ya land spirit believed what he said. He wanted Fang Yuan to exterminate the falling star hound, but instead, he was going to leave with Dang Hun Mountain. Lang Ya land spirit was very worried. Fang Yuan used this chance to exchange all of his sect contribution points. He even used Wisdom Goo as collateral to borrow a lot of immortal goo from Lang Ya land spirit and large amounts of Immortal Essence Stones. He finally replenished his Green Grape Immortal Essence. Regretfully, up until Fang Yuan left Lang Ya Blessed Land, Treasure Yellow Heaven did not open. Fang Yuan sighed, choosing to move a portion of the resources in his Immortal Aperture to Lang Ya Blessed Land for safekeeping. So much resources? 
It seems that you are very skilled in managing an immortal aperture. Lang Yalan's spirit was a bit surprised at the amount of resources Fang Yuan had. But in fact, this was only a small portion. It was not even 30%. Fang Yuan was not going to move out all of his resources. Lang Yalan's spirit was not a fool. He would be suspicious of Fang Yuan's sovereign immortal aperture. With half a day until the earthly calamity descended, Fang Yuan used the transportation Gu formation to go to the Northern Icy Plain. Even though the Northern Icy Plain was created by reckless savage demon Venerable, and had lots of reckless savage's true meaning, heavens will still existed here. Thus, Fang Yuan did not come here far in advance. The Icy Plain was huge, Fang Yuan casually chose a direction and picked a spot to place his immortal aperture. What would the second earthly calamity be? No matter what it was, the second earthly calamity's might would surely be greater than the first. Fang Yuan waited for it vigilantly. 